Ducati World Premier 2019. This is Ducati World Premier 2019. Good evening, everyone. So many of us here, and I'm sure that we also have plenty of people from our social networks. Uh, TV, so we are live on the Sky Sport the MotoGP uh, live channel, channel 208. You will also find us on the Ducati.com site and Facebook Live. Please do use the hashtag Ducati Premier to get or to send us, uh, well, ideas and uh, thoughts. This is my very first time. It's a pleasure for me to be here. It's, uh, well, I'm really thrilled of being here with you um, tonight. These are my emotions, probably your emotions as well. But of course, we have to start with an incredible person. He's been with us for 27 years. The greatest, I mean, supporter, the greatest Duke artist, been in the company since 1993. He gave us incredible feelings, incredible emotions. A big round of applause to Claudio Domenicali, Ducari's CEO. Buonasera, buonasera, buonasera a tutti e benvenuti. Good evening, everyone. Buonasera, ladies and gentlemen. Now, welcome. Uh, now, tonight uh, we will be um, introducing our, you know, our product range of 2019. Hi, Claudia. Okay, sorry, it has taken a while. It's such a big theater. Anyway, once again, great emotion. I mean, being here, this is fantastic. I mean, this is the real, you know, wow effect um, stage. Now, this is my second year, and um, from right here, from this stage, we will go through uh, novelties, new developments, and emotions. So, uh, once again, this is what we have liked so much. I mean, we enjoyed it last year, thanks uh, to our, you know, our friends from Sky. So, we thought we had to do exactly the same thing. I think is the best way to celebrate brand new um, styles and models. I'm very curious and eager. I mean, there's a whole range of new products uh, so uh, okay uh, let me uh, leave the floor to, uh, to you I'll be back in a few minutes okay then once again thank you so much for being here this theater is packed with people uh, this year we have uh, hundreds of um, dealers from all over the world we also have reporters and journalists uh, thank you so much for joining us today in beautiful Milan I also would like to thank all of you from home um, so once again we are live in Scotland Sky TV and then Facebook, Ducati.com website. So many of you. So uh, once again, thank you so much. Um, well, um, we will strive to make sure you will, you know, you have fun. We will tell you all what we uh, put together for this very special uh, day. So let's talk about Ducati. Now, as you know, Ducati is um, a company that uh, really believes in uh, building, you know, healthy, strong relationships with uh, customers. We have some specific values, three key values, SSP, style, sophistication, and performance. Now, once again, three key values that we have in our heart, and this means that but we are a special company. I mean, we want to develop a top performance products. At the same time, but what we want to do is being as consistent as possible with the fact of being Italian. So this company adores beauty. We like beauty and we are strive. I mean, actually, everyone in our company in Borgo Panigale, so in Bologna, 1,600 employees working for you to make sure uh, we will be able to uh, you know, meet all of your needs and the needs of our Duca testers. So, so once again, we believe in uh, creating strong relationships with the Duca testers or our customers in general. Now, this is also, this translates in extraordinary events. So for example, this one, this is the World Ducati Week, so the WDW 2018 in Misano Adriatico here in Italy. And uh, we met almost 100,000 participants. Now, look at this picture. So uh, we've been able to uh, create a bright new situation, for example, the race of champions. Now, this is totally unprecedented. We got all of the best, you know, uh, riders, MotoGP, uh, Superbike, and then we asked um, the Troy Bayliers, for example, to join. So we had the 12 Panigale V4S. You can see here the different colors, the colors typical of every single, you know, rider. And we asked them to uh, work together. Now, Gigi Dalinia must have found this very difficult. 
difficult because uh, it was so difficult. I mean, to you know, to, to uh, get you know this idea. So uh, anyway, we uh, we enjoyed the very professional uh, show. Uh, once again, the show and even the race was extraordinary. You know that uh, well, uh, racing. This is one of the uh, let's say DNAs of this company, as you know very well. So Ducati was made famous thanks to extraordinary results in the Superbike Championship. Uh, a little bit, well, kind of recently, we managed to have excellent results in the MotoGP Championship. We race because we like this, because, uh, you know, this is one of our passions. And we race because, I mean, thanks to our, let's say, uh, secrets, but also to all of the knowledge that we have developed, uh, we are able to transfer all of this to uh, mass-made products. Now, the championship is not over. That was so intense. It was an extraordinary year with plenty of emotions, and then uh, we've been very successful. Um, I will never forget the uh, Mugello race, so we've been able to get an incredible result, but we've also been able to improve the uh, speed, uh, let's say, record for that uh, racing track. Now, Troy was the uh, fastest one. Okay, then, without further ado, let me tell you what I mean by racing. Ciao Vera, ben Ciao, buonasera a tutti. Good Ciao, evening Vera, hi Vera, buonasera. good evening everyone. Ciao. Nice Anzi, to meet you Claudia. Tornata, Welcome sì, back. I mean, we've been, been here quindi... well exactly one year ago. It's a pleasure for me to be back here in Milan at this beautiful theater because now we're ready to talk about 2019. But as you said, Claudia, this season was an extraordinary one. A couple of figures, I mean, uh, 14 uh, victories if we also consider Petrucci in the GP France, five pole positions and plenty of successful events and plenty of satisfaction for this year. Right. Um, it was impossible to fight um, till the very last race, which is what we did last year. But um, you know, I think that if we go through, if we analyze in depth uh, all of the performances and the victories uh, you know, of our team, all over the world. I can say that, that Ducati, developed by Ducati Corsa and Gigi D'Aligna, this is the uh, most or best performing Ducati ever. Now, Gigi D'Aligna, as you said, is uh, responsible, if you will, for this successful uh, let's say range of events. Uh, yes, we have 150 engineers and technicians taking care of the development of our bikes, uh, and they work, uh, you know, seamlessly to improve performances. Uh, at the same time, we have a real number one engineer, Gigi Dalinia. It would be great to have him here, just like um, orchestra director. Yes, it would be very nice to have Gigi Dalinia here. I think he's here with us. Hello everyone, ciao. Welcome Gigi, it's, uh, it's a pleasure for us to, uh, to have you here in Milan tonight. Now, Luigi uh, turned, uh, let's say, uh, our Ducati GP into an incredible, you know, speed event. 356.5 kilometers an hour. So, uh, well, all of this, thanks to you and your efforts. There's more, because this top speed is not just due to the power of the engine, which is one of the key features. So, now, it's incredible incredible to see Gigi, you know, in the box, and uh, I'll be back in a second. Thank you, Claudio. So once again, I know that you must have worked so much on, you know, weight balancing and then improving electronics, aerodynamics, and, uh, well, of course, you are a specialist and a hero in this field. We can say that in Bologna, so in Borgo Panigale, you never stop. You're right. I mean, R&D is a seamless effort concerning every single part of the bike, including the engine, because, of course, I mean, you cannot beat speed records without a performing engine. As you said one second ago, the engine is not the only protagonist of our bikes. I think that, you know, the uh, well, aerodynamics is also so important. And, uh, you know, in Ducati, uh, I think we've been able to, uh, you know, develop new solutions. Uh, so in the wind tunnel, uh, you know, but also in the, uh, you know, racing tracks, we've developed new solutions. This means that we've been able to hit the target 
with them this incredible, you know, speed. Now, we have developed all of these, uh, you know, uh, tools. Uh, of course, competitors did exactly the same thing. So once again, they did a sort of copy and paste of what we invented. Now, um, we are owners of all these new technologies. I'm sure that all of this will translate into, you know, road bikes. First of all, you know, sports and super sports bike. But I'm sure that there will be a sort of a technological transfer on traditional bikes. What about competitors, uh, Luigi? Um, uh, we can say that now because you've been working, you know, seamlessly and with all of this energy, I'm sure you must have uh, done something special also, uh, you know, against the Japanese makers. So what's so special in Ducati? I think it, it, it all depends on the, you know, people we have and resources we have in Ducati Corse and the excellent, um, you know, skills in our technicians and engineers. Um, maybe another distinctive, unique element is that we are a big team, so the human, you know, factor is absolutely um, fundamental. Everyone works to try and minimize, you know, the uh, weaknesses of, of our partners and colleagues. I know that quite often in other companies, you know, people to sort of, you know, highlight weaknesses of the others. We have one more race to go, Valencia, Spain, and then we're ready for the 2019 championship. You're working on the new bike. Uh, any preview on the new bike? Now, this uh, world championship, well, first of all, it was a beautiful one, and I'm sure that our bike has worked a lot and very well. And, uh, you know, when things go positively and well, it's really so difficult to totally change the bike. Now, Pirro tested the 2019 bike in Valencia in Spain just uh, a few weeks ago. He was quite happy with the bike. Uh, well, I have to say that there won't be many uh, major changes versus the 2018 version, and only later will we introduce plenty of new developments. Uh, in our opinion, this will, you know, add benefit and, you know, further speed, extra speed. Anyway, we will take our time because, once again, when you reach top level, top performances, it's really uh, easy, let's say, to get lost, and it's so difficult to improve. So, once again, we want to be really 100% sure that the new developments will actually actually be developments and not step backs. Thank you so much, Gigi Dalinia, for sharing this with us. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the uh, convention. Okay, uh, I now have to talk with someone uh, really, let's say, translating all of this into beautiful uh, races, the riders. Let me start with um, uh, one of our favorite riders. It was a little difficult, you know, for him in the first year. We now have Jorge Lorenzo. Eccolo qui. Hello, Jorge. Jorge. Let's say that you created a very special, unique relationship with the uh, Ducati Squadra Corsa. You've been so successful. Uh, now, first of all, you are right into the heart of Ducatistas, but you also are part of those, uh, you know, a uh, small uh, group of uh, riders being able to win with many different brands. It is uh, always very difficult to win. I mean, not many, uh, you know, riders uh, well know what I mean. It's even more difficult to win with. You know, two or three different, you know, uh, makers or brands. And this is what I did at the Mugello racing track, my first victory with uh, Ducati, one of the most, you know, thrilling moments in my, my career. I have to say that... Um, I was, uh, you know, uh, welcome in the uh, team, so uh, uh, in the uh, Corse here in Ducati, so there was uh, sort of no love at first sight. The team is super professional, so engineers and technicians uh, have a, a, an incredible expertise and they are, you know, really very skilled. Uh, you said love, so when you love, you usually love forever. Now, I know that sometimes this doesn't happen, but this does happen for Ducati, so right into the heart of Ducati forever. Jorge, what do you have in your heart? Well, three fantastic victories, and then new friends that I, I met, beautiful memories together with some difficult, you know, uh, moments, but especially in the first year, and then second year, plenty of, you know, I mean, celebrations, 
preparations and the plenty of enthusiasm and um, you know excitement for me and for the rest of the team. Never give up, as we used to say, before reaching the target. Uh, I know it, it, it may be difficult sometimes, yes. Getting into the Ducati team, so uh, it feels like home. This is what you said in the past. Uh, is it different here? So um, which kind of differences do you see with you know Japanese uh, brands? Now, the Ducati brand is so different. I mean, uh, I, you know, if you have a Ducati, I think it's a question of passion. So you are so proud of, you know, having a Ducati and you feel like you are, you know, a part of this uh, big family. And then, as I said before, a professional, so uh, this is the kind of people I, I, I've met in the, the company and uh, top organization, I mean, perfectionist. So the general level, general skills of the teams are very high. Okay, then, Jorge, uh, we need to thank all of the Ducatistas that really love you. I really would like to thank you for, well, being my fans, my supporters. I mean, you are special uh, persons, very loyal to this brand. So uh, I wish you uh, success for the future, and uh, Ducati will always be in my heart in the future. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll see you on some racing tracks. Jorge, uh, thank you so much. Um, let me now talk about the future. So the two 2019 team, two Italian riders on Italian bikes. So once again, this is another dream team, Andrea Dovizioso, Danilo Petrucci. They are here with us. Andrea, first question for you. Three uh, victories, two pole positions, uh, and uh, many other successful events. So what do you think about this season? Uh, a great season. I mean, we are now at the end of the season. We've been very competitive. And uh, I'm sure we will be uh, back on the right track for the next championship. And then since the, uh, was, I mean, the second part of the season, we've been very competitive. So uh, once again, we had to uh, pay some, I mean, the price of some small errors. So together with Andrea Dovizioso, we will have a unique team, Italian riders on an Italian bike. Uh, what about your training? Well, this is an incredible opportunity. I mean, uh, you know, uh, riding and I mean, participating in the official team, that was my, my dream. And uh, this is what I wanted in 2015. Next year, we will see hopefully fantastic results. Well, uh, you will have plenty of responsibilities next year. What about this pressure? I mean, do you feel the pressure or is this a spur for you? Well, you know, when you, when you work for an official team, well, of course, you do have I mean, you are under pressure. It's okay, especially if you really aim at, you know, important, you know, top-level results. I mean, uh, this is part of our sport. I mean, I've been managing this for many years, which is not easy. But, um, you know, I think it's one of the, the aspects I really uh, like. Uh, I'm sure I will be competitive and I will hit the target. Okay, well, you did hit the target because, I mean, you got plenty of victories and, of course, you will be in the same team. What about this situation, what do you think about this team? Once again, being in the official team, I know that it's a, it's a strong, big responsibility. I've never been in the factory team, so it's going to be something we so happy to, uh, you know, uh, race here. I know I have to strive. Ten wins, ten victories with the Rossa, so the red bike. You are now part of history. Now everything is possible. So what's your ultimate target? Uh, I believe in what you say, and I, and I believe in what I can do. We've been working together for years, and uh, every single effort was positive. Now I can say we are very competitive, which is what I hoped once again. So um, I'm ready to you know, start from scratch, and there will be incredible new developments. Um, you said you are a statue to be improved. What about your improvements? Well, I think I really have to work to improve, you know, myself. And, uh, you know, year after year, I know that I, I kept improving, but of course, it's never enough. And, of course, I need to improve my, let's say, uh, racing weekend uh, management. Uh, I think I have to uh, refine some details. No worry. I mean, Dovizioso has been here for six years. Of course, uh, he will help him. Uh, any recommendations, some advice to Danilo Pertucci? It's difficult to say, but I think there are the difference is winter training and uh, even mental training. So you really, really have to be ready and relaxed. We have to work together in a very smart way. Now the team is waiting for you. We have high expectations, and I'm sure
sure we have a beautiful team. Welcome into the family. Okay, well, I know that you are, you know, you did some training. So is there something you would like to share with your future teammate? Well, uh, first of all, grazie. So thank you. Thank you so much for your support, especially in the racing track, but not just in the racing track. I will try and help me do even better next year. Okay, just a couple of words uh, to all of the Duke artists and fans. Uh, well, thank you so much. Uh, you make the difference for us. I mean, we, f we hear you, we feel you, and uh, we can really work a little bit better thanks to uh, you know your support and your uh, you know uh, your help and uh, again this is our objective so we can do more a ciao so thank you so much to all of the ducatistas around the world uh, i also hope i will do much much better and uh, you know uh, have beautiful gifts for you in the future thank you so much for this short interview of course we do hope you will be able to hit the target in 2019 uh, we have a video this was the main highlights of this fantastic 2018. <laughs> now, what a feeling. Shivers down my spine. Now, this is uh, a battle. This is deep emotions. I mean, you have no idea, you know, what happens, I mean, you know, behind the scenes. I mean, we try and tell you, we try and, you know, follow the other uh, pace of these bikes. I mean, our, our job is a really incredible one. And then just think of adrenaline in your veins and even the strength of force of Ducati, the possibility they have to surprise us so once again adrenaline you know speed MotoGP super sports bikes and once again at the same time you know these products are uh, you know masterpieces let me let me take you now to a, a rock world which is my world now there's a sort of a vintage inspiration with different beating hearts and souls of Ducati so the inspiration is the past but the personality is super contemporary let's rock and roll So this is the Scrambler Rock World. Here we go. They deserve a big, big round of applause, don't they? 
We, um, we like, you know, scramblers so much. You know, this brand was created in 2015. You know, Ducati can work in different directions. Top performance is in terms of racing, but at the same time, we have an everyday product like scrambler. Now, this is uh, basically a product that was born, let's say, in 1962, and this is a sort of a, a rebirth, if you will. I remember when I was uh, young, maybe you also remember, and uh, I, I know I dreamt of, you know, model bikes. I was five, maybe six. I remember the Corrier Boys, so this, um, you know, um, um, character, and I remember there was uh, a, a tent, a guitar, some adventure, I think it was back in 1976 or 1978, and I remember there was a scrambler there. I started dreaming of a scrambler, and now it, uh, it means uh, freedom, joy, expression, mud, sand, uh, turns, and metropolitan areas. I mean, every, everywhere. Uh, do you think this is, is this the one for me? Uh, and what about my guitar? Uh, well, I think so. Here we also have a sort of a skateboard. So uh, instead of a skateboard, you may, you may uh, well, have your guitar here. Okay, tell us about Scramblers, Claudio. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Let me now talk about Scrambler now. So this is a, a, a brand that, uh, well, it was a product, now it's a brand, and, uh, you know, we've been working on Scrambler in 2015, so we started with the Icon, then we started, you know, releasing new versions and new models, on average, two new versions a year, starting in 2015. Now, um, this is the number of, uh, let's say, uh, Scramblerists, as we say, 57,000 people, so so this is the number of people purchasing a Scrambler since 2015. Now, in 2018, so this year, uh, there was a sort of uh, re-engineering on the Icon. So Icon is the basically the Scrambler 800, which is the basic model. Uh, we have just, you know, introduced the, the new model to the press. Uh, I'm sure you, you, you are familiar with these uh, features, but, uh, you know, it was really, really important for us to, uh, you know, freshen up a little bit the 2019 lineup. Now, as Zoran said before, this is a sort of a takedown, an icon model from the 1960s we have reconstructed re-engineered it in 2015 so in the model year my 2019 this is the most important revision if you will this is really really important because the basic design doesn't change and if you will the you know the inspiration to the iconic product of the 1960s doesn't change but there are new details new finishings improved finishings because the bike is really, really different in plenty of aesthetic, you know, finishings and details. So in terms of technology, I mean, there's an ABS cornering device now. This is the only bike of this segment coming with this beautiful feature, which is so important in terms of personal safety. All of the 2019 bikes that you will see tonight are equipped with the ABS cornering system. This is a beautiful, important statement uh, highlighting, you know, the importance of safety for for our brand. Let me go through some of the key features, a hydraulic uh, clutch. We have slightly changed, you know, the dashboard with the gear and fuel indicators. You have uh, um, a smartphone ready. Uh, dashboard that we have modified suspensions and even the uh, seat is top comfort. So in a nutshell, this is the package that we have prepared for this beautiful intervention of the uh, central part of the Scrambler range, which is the Scrambler icon. Uh, well, as you know, Scrambler is not just one. We have three different versions in the lineup, but that's a sled. Cafe Racer, full throttle. Cafe Racer is the rebel. So this is an incredible desert sled. And then we have full throttle once again. Now, back to Cafe Racer. Now, this bike, in terms of concept, is based on the following. We have, you know, 17-inch front and back wheels. And uh, look at the graphics. Look at the colors. This is model year 2019. This is very, very similar to the graphics we had at the beginning of the 1960s, especially Ducati 125 GP. 
came with this beautiful, you know, shiny blue uh, chassis and a grey tank. We also captured the desert sled into our range. This is an interesting offer, not just in terms of ergonomics, because it is, uh, uh, you know, well, this is especially for, you know, uh, the, the, the tallest ones of you, so you can really, really enjoy the uh, scrambler. This is a real off-road, the 200 millimeter wheel travel, and the chassis has been specially developed to resist, if you will, the real, you know, very, uh, well, cumbersome, if you will, payloads. So this is an enduro heritage that we wanted to retain. The third model is the full throttle, which we present for the model year 2019. You have the new livery, you also have the, uh, well, the chassis and even the frame. So the inspiration is flat tracks and super hooligans. So they've been the key drivers with this inspiration. Once again, please do not hesitate to have a look at our website and look for the uh, special customization for your own Scrambler. You will find many different proposals. Now, Scrambler means you can really, really have a super customized, unique bike. So once again, surf our uh, website, have fun, and uh, use the uh, scrambleducati.com site. Guys, it's, it was just great, but uh, now let me just close your eyes and imagine. Uh, just you go up, you go down, you jump, you got mud, two wheels, but it's not a bike. It's very, very similar though. Look at these faces that should come up on the screen in a minute. They're tired, they're happy, they're dirty, with a big smile on their face. You know what I'm talking about, Claudio. I think you're talking about a new adventure for Ducati. A great new adventure for Ducati. Now we have a little treat for you. Look here. It's a new project uh, by Ducati. It's an e-bike. Yeah, let's, let's have a look. A big round of applause because it's uh, it's a it's a wonder it's a true wonder it's a new adventure it's a new concept so thank you Stefano for being with us yeah this is Ducati e-bike is a Ducati Mig RR and it's a pleasure to see it and I would like you to stop by at the at our booth to see it uh, firsthand, because when we do something, we always do it the best of our abilities. And what came out from this project is something really beautiful. And of course, we had to ask Stefano, one of the best in his trade. Stefano Migliorini's uh, pedigree is incredible. He's a European champion, uh, won World Cups. We're talking about BMX. And this is true racing, because it's like MotoGP. Like, you know, they don't spare in cheap shots. And, uh, and he's also a champion in uh, gravity and downhill. But Stefano is not just somebody who is a true rider, but he's also the founder of TOC, a company with whom we've decided to uh, make this project come true. And we chose them because we very much like and agree with their philosophy, the love for you know, a good job and sports 
and, and, and whatever it entails. So who better than him can tell us what they see in this beautiful, beautiful object? Well, first of all, good evening. Uh, I'm very, very thrilled to be here tonight, and I would like to thank Ducati for choosing us for this e-bike project. Uh, the MIG RR that you can see is the product of the collaboration between Ducati and TOC, which is an Italian company specializing in the e-bike uh, industry. We have taken our MIG, and thanks to the uh, Ducati uh, Technical Center, we've uh, changed it around and we've added the motorbike philosophy, a larger front wheel, 29 and 27 and a half inches in the back. So it's an Enduro bike. It's DNA, it's racing, really, pretty much like all Ducati products. And we're very proud of this partnership with Ducati because we share with them the same goals, the same philosophy, the love for style uh, and everything uh, that, that follows. So I think this bond can allow us to bring the Italian style around the world. So thank you and congratulations, Stefan. A big, a big round of applause again for this new project. I believe it's really breathtaking. If I can, I would like to, you know, take this home with me. No, 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 we need to stay here because we need to explain for it. Just a, a scrambler will do. Well, Stefano just told you what the main elements are to this bike. Uh, well, therefore, let me just tell you a couple of highlights. It's a very, uh, it's a, it's a very sporty uh, bike. It's an enduro mountain bike. Uh, we said 170 millimeters uh, suspension stroke, 70, 170 in the front, 160 in the rear. Uh, mountain bike enthusiasts know what I mean. It has a Shimano Steps E8000 uh, engine. It's, it has, you know, very high-level finishes like braking, uh, rims, and everything. And uh, it's a very high-level product. And the world of e-mountain bike is is really booming right now. And I think those who've never tried one of these products should do it because they're extraordinary. And they, you can have fun on them uh, off-road. And they also uh, somehow offset the fact that you're not perfectly fit or trained. Uh, the bike will be available uh, or can be ordered as of January only in Europe at first, and it will be available in all Ducati dealers pretty much around the springtime. We expect end of March, beginning of April, the, the bikes will be available in our dealers. So check out our website, visit our dealers in the spring, try the bike, and send us the, picture of your, uh, the pictures of your adventures. Guys, great stuff. Really great stuff. That's it. Big round of applause. Which is always fitting for the country's new adventure. I can't wait to try it. And it's a good you know, way to learn to, to, to ride a, a motorbike as well. But going back to uh, motorbikes, let's uh, start our engines and go back to the Ducati Red. And in the world of Ducati engines, well, this is a myth. It's a legend. It has been so for over 25 years now. It's, uh, it's the focus and it's the dream of all naked enthusiasts. The name will suffice to give you a shiver. The word is monster. Yes, we're talking about Monster. Monster is the you know, broadest number of uh, customer. Hundreds of thousands of customers have chosen this product, which is the quintessential element of, of naked sports riding since 1992. Uh, this bike was developed 
since its inception in a very high number of uh, versions from a smaller displacement 797 to bigger displacement to 1200R. But some of you probably have seen that there is a new bike on the screen. It's a special version of the 821, and we call that Monster 821 Stealth will be soon available in our dealers and, well, it stands out for a very young and sporty and uh, winning livery and very, very uh, particular uh, elements, uh, uh, fully adjustable front fork, fly screen and DQS. Monster is a bike that, as you saw, can completely change its skin every now and then, and it's ready to become the object of desire for many bikers, uh, for many riders from all over the world. And since we're talking about the world, let us open our view and let's move on to Colorado. Colorado Pike Speak. Pike Speak is a name of a version of Multistrada 1260. We launched it on this very stage 12 years ago. But Pike Speak is the name of a race, an uphill race, uh, which is extremely fascinating because it goes up over to 4,000 meters in altitude. And this race, uh, well, we took part in the race and we won it. And what's most extraordinary about this, that the winner of the race is here with us. His name is Carling Dunn. And I'd like for him to stand up. Carling, where are you? Carling Dunn. Carling Dunn, ladies and gentlemen. What is extraordinary about, about him, he's a true Ducatista, he's one of us. Not only is he an American dealer in the room, so he owns, and he's a partner of the Santa Monica dealer in the United States, but he's a Ducatista five days a week as a dealer, and he is also during the weekend, and is an extraordinary rider, which uh, won us this incredible achievement. So thank you very much, Carling, and well done. Well, Pike Speak moves fast on winding roads, but let's shift gear and let's move on to the roads of all the world. These are the most beautiful roads in the world. These are the roads that every one of us uh, would like to travel on at least once in the lifetime. These are the pictures that you sent us. Sun, snow, mud, asphalt. These photos are about one thing and one thing only. With a multistrada, no place is far. So we, since we're talking about uh, adventure, let's uh, open the throttle. Multistrada 1260 Enduro. So the Multistrada Enduro has already done the dynamic uh, launch, but it's very important to remind you the extraordinary work that our technicians did on this project. It, uh, it was launched in 2016. We wanted to fine-tune it because it is an extremely crucial element in our range. It stands out for 
the Ducati's idea of a travel enduro, and it stands for the way Ducati wants to match design and functionality, which are usually two elements that are opposed to each other. So this bike has improved the torque. The 1260 engine allows more torque, and it, it was developed in terms of details. Let me just point out that there was a slight but important in decrease 10 millimeters in the lower center of gravity, so the bike is easier to put your foot down and to manage this, this bike. This bike has an incredible standpoint, oh, plus, which is it allows to you know travel without fearing any kind of terrain you might that might be in front of in front of you so today it's available for of us we we improved the electronics of it let me just mention the dashboard which is high resolution in color or abs cornering system which really really makes it a very very mature product Great fun, incredible performance, comfort, and user friendliness. These are elements that are common to the whole Multistrada range. But also for the smaller in the family, the most versatile Multistrada of all, the 950, which we see today with another step forward. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Multistrada 950 model year 2019, which completes and complements the Multistrada range, a very important family and which has a level of detail which is incredible. It's a very balanced uh, bike because it can offset a smaller displacement with great versatility. And we worked in a very targeted way, uh, cornering ABS, hydro uh, uh, suspension uh, with the lighter forks and vehicle hull control allows to uh, start the uphill launch in an easier way and we have a new HMI. So, but we didn't stop at this. We wanted to have a new version of the 950 which we call 950S. This is absolutely new which starts from the idea of having a very well balanced product which for some customer was not evolved enough in terms of components. So the 950S provides, in a summary, all the electronics and all the excellence of 1260 brought on a 950 displacement. So once again, we have high resolution color da dashboard, cruise control, electronic suspensions, full LED headlight, uh, top qualities, pretty much like uh, the 1260, which are the main salient uh, characteristics of this project, of this product that mounts DQS as well. This bike will be available with a spoked rim uh, wheels in, in our dealer. So we have a very com comprehensive range with Multistrada 1260, which we launched on this very stage 12 months ago, which is paying back in full and very happy with it and our customers are it is in our range the bike which uh, landed the highest satisfactor satisfaction among our customers which goes together with the 1260 enduro and the 950 standard and s version so at home just check out and book your test ride on a 950 or a 950s at our dealers and i'm sure you will fall in love with it
I think you'll agree with me that this video was absolutely beautiful. The first time I watched this, I was moved to tears. It's, it's about Italy, the beauty of this extraordinary country. It's about the idea of riding your bike in the most relaxed way as a perfect companion on a journey, on a discovery of new landscapes and new adventures. I mean, it's really beautiful. So the music accompanied us uh, in watching a video which will stay in my mind and in my heart as one of the most interesting elements of this of tonight. But now we're ready to change the pace. Let's talk about an adrenalinic uh, product. The music will not be as soothing as the one we just listened to. We're talking about pure fun and playing around with the bike. Many of the people in the room, I think all of you, are uh, you know, uh, bike uh, enthusiasts. This bike is a playmate and the game is on. Ladies and gentlemen, the new Ducati Hypermotard. This project uh, came to be in 2007 and uh, we hold it very dear in our hearts because it really stands for the idea of combining fun, performance and design within a single product. We wanted to uh, include and confirm some of the features uh, in the early hypermotor in the new one and, and it was well, the guys in, in the technical department did incredible research, and we are very, very proud of this. We believe this bike truly embodies and has the true genes of a true hypermotard. So the true genes in terms of design, but also in terms of function. It's lighter. We're talking about three kilos less. It's slimmer. I very much urge you to, uh, well, the people coming to the trade fair and the people at home, as soon as the bike will hit uh, the dealers, to go check it out, because, uh, you know, the inner leg curve is much uh, slimmer, so with the same seat height, you can have a firmer contact with the ground. We love this bike. We very much, uh, we focus very much on the components. In the standard version, it has a fully aluminum uh, fork, 45 millimeter, in the standard version, and we have radial brake pumps for the clutch and the brakes alike. So it's a bike that has evolved, not just in terms of chassis, but also in terms of engine. And it grew and developed in the electronics as well. Uh, so we have a color dashboard, latest generation, which certainly will change the product for the better and certainly there are some very interesting components including the DRL which places this bike in the higher end of the range. This is a product we have worked very much on in terms of chassis, electronics and engine for HP more, a very uh, sturdy talk, so we've very much increased the delivery at uh, mid uh, RPMs, and we further lightened the whole uh, setup of uh, well, 1.5 kilos, so for a very, very well-balanced product. But on my left, you have the sporty version. So as always, we have standard and S versions. In this case, for Hypermotard, the S version is called SP because it's even more extreme than traditional S versions. Uh, in this case, it was higher by 20 millimeters of ground clearance as traditional uh, Hypermotard SP. 
for more cornering ability. So not just ground kilo, uh, clearance, but two kilos lighter thanks to forged rims and suspensions, which are fully Olins. So it is absolutely great as a product, which continues and is in continuity with the Ducati philosophy, but which has been made younger with a new uh, design and new technical component, a lighter setup, which we'll believe will meet the needs of all enthusiasts of these products in our brand. So this is pure fun. Let's have a look. Well, certainly this video is about the product, but it makes your heart racing. So let's close with Hypermotard and let's start talking about a new product, even though your heart rate will remain quite high. So let me introduce to you another icon by Ducati, which we have completely revisited for 2019. It's a bike that created in itself a new segment. It's a strong, muscular bike whose ego is as big as this, its, its owners, and there are many people who own it. It's got personality and it's got determination at the cause of you know, breaking the rules. Ladies and gentlemen, the new Ducati Diavel. So good to be bad, so good to be bad is the claim we uh, devised for this product. Because this is Diavel. It's either you love it or you hate it, and we love it desperately. It's a product that we launched in 2011, and today is completely renewed. It's a product that underwent a uh, huge and a massive uh, research. We wanted to have a, a, a new extreme bike with sporty lines which retained the personality of Diavel. So these, this volumes, this very big mass in the front of the bike allows this bike to be a liaison between the naked and the cruiser world. If you look at the suspensions, the braking and the, and, and the frame, this is an extremely performing naked. If you look at the comfort, the height of the saddle, 708, of the seat, 780 millimeters, the comfort of the handlebar, you know, the bike could easily be considered a cruiser. So therefore, Diavel is, is, is a bike apart. It's, uh, it certainly can give you a thrill because of its shape, its proportions, its size, and the way it performs on the road. Diavel itself has grown to 1260 
So we take the DVT engine and it benefits from all the torque increase that this uh, engine with a displacement of 1260 has also introduced within Multistrada. It's a bike that has been changed in terms of electronics. So it is particularly uh, state-of-the-art cornering ABS, which is always something I like to remind you, and cruise control, which is very important in this bike, and power launch, which is available on the X Diavel and the new Diavel. So we wanted to come up with an S version, which is the one that you're seeing here, right on the stage, which stands out from Olin's suspensions. So it's a very high level product. Brembo M50 braking, more performing, dedicated and machined wheels. So with a very outstanding look, a dedicated seat, DRL, which is a high level headlight and quick shift. So once again, this is a product that is completely revisited, not just in terms of design, but also in terms of technology. And this is our new Diavel, which we believe is the ideal product for those who do not conform, and it is our Diavel. Now we are dealt with so many different ranges or families of products and of course uh, we needed to see Pani Gale. Now this beautiful picture takes me back to the very beginning of my presentation where we talked about the Race of Champions. Now Race of Champions is a beautiful uh, world contest and even race that we invented in Misano. So our uh, riders, uh, uh, let's say, could take advantage of different, you know, uh, liveries, and this comes from the, uh, you know, bikes that really reduce when they race. We liked, you know, this mix a lot. So, of course, all of our Ducatistas and even our fans and supporters, they needed to see this in their dealership. So we have created a special version of Panigale V4S Corse, a special version, and this is included into the uh, 2019 lineup with this beautiful livery. This is the livery, uh, you know, used by Michele Piero to win the race. You have uh, the same technical specs that we've seen before, for the V4S. I'm sure you are familiar with this. And once again, uh, you know, this is what we needed to be so successful in 2018. Okay, I'm uh, getting closer and closer, uh, you know, to the end of this, um, uh, you know, presentation. So we talked about the Scrambler, Ranger, and then Monster. Uh, I've uh, also presented an e-bike, an e-mountain bike. We talked about the Multistrada, the 950, and the Enduro. We talked about Hypermotar, the Diavel. Uh, well, uh, we are, well, more than happy about this and very proud. But as usual, uh, we never have enough. So there's, uh, as usual, one more thing coming up on stage. Welcome home. There's only one place where we can truly be ourselves. In this place, there's no way back. Ducati. Now, here in Ducati, well, sometimes we get the following question. What's a Ducati Superbike? 
Well, let me tell you that a Ducati Superbike is an um, extraordinary mix. It's a blend of design and technologies. So Ducati Superbike means the top performances, this means the style, sophistication and performance. Okay, well, this is the grand final, and of course, not to this extraordinary bike, this is the V4R, and uh, I, will, I will be talking about this uh, uh, bike in a second. This is uh, Chas Davis, big, big round of applause, please. Now, this year you've been one of the, uh, you know, leaders, one of the protagonists of the Superbike Championship, 12 uh, victories, right? So, thanks to this very bike, you will, you know, take part in the 2019 Championship. Uh, I'm so, I'm, I'm thrilled. I mean, I'm so excited. This is going to be a new adventure with the Panigale before R. Uh, it's something totally different for me, I mean, me and Ducati, I guess. And, uh, of course, it goes without saying that with this technology uh, that we have used in the MotoGP, we've been able to show the incredible potential of this bike. So I have to take advantage of all of this power, and, of course, uh, I really, really want to, uh, you know, uh, get all of my top targets. But... Uh, well, I think we have a joint responsibility now because, as you know, this bike represents the end of an extraordinary uh, series of successful events represented by V2. So the two cylinders in 17 world championships, 341 victories on uh, around 700 uh, competitions. Basically, uh, well, the rate is almost 50 percent, 350 uh, top speed laps. Now, can we uh, rewrite history in the future with this bike? Well, why? Why not? We have to. Um, and if you want, and if you trust me, I can start this brand new story. But uh, so I won't be here with, I mean, in, in 20 years. So you need uh, someone else to replace me in some years to keep the story, to continue this story. Charles, thank you, thank you so much. Now, this is a big, big round of applause. You know, Chaz uh, has just spoken Italian. So this is another round of applause for Chaz. Thank you so much, Chaz, for what you're doing and for speaking Italian tonight. Thank you. Okay, then, so without further ado, let me tell you more about this bike we are so proud of. Uh, very, very proud because of the contents of this bike, plenty of new developments, new technologies, as you can see here. I mean, the look is so different. I mean, there's been a restyling, uh, you know, on the um, frame and the chassis. 38 millimeter uh, wider each side, so these are the lateral fairings. And uh, as you can see, here we have uh, a carbon fence. This is included into the so-called aerodynamic uh, package. We also have these, um, you know, a rounded sides that you can see here, right and left. This means that uh, there will be uh, an enhanced experience. I mean, right from the MotoGP, we will translate this onto a superbike. Now, this is what you need in order to really remove more air. This means that there's more air extraction, plus 16% air speed through radiators. So this means we have more efficient side air extractors. Now, this is fundamental for our superbike. Now, let me let me go through some technical specs. So this is 
is just some of the things that our guys from Duke County Corset have done for you. So they've taken into account the basic version and then they turned the bike into a super bike. So again, this is what they did on the uh, fence. And now these outlets of fence, uh, they increase I mean, the load. Uh, for example, when you have 270 kilometers an hour, there's uh, a better front wheel feeling plus 30 kilos. Now, this means, uh, now in terms of, you know, uh, well, a uh, payload, uh, this means that you have 30 kilos, I mean, extra. And again, as I said before, plus 42% of the, uh, you know, so-called wheel feeding. So why uh, do you have to have all of these features? Well, first of all, better high-speed stability, uh, less front tire blocking and braking. Of course, uh, if you have, uh, let's say, an, a non-stable payload, you know what I mean, you know, especially because I mean, the, the, the load is not the right one. Once again, stability heavily depends on the uh, front tire. And then Alessandro Valia, he's our one of our testers, uh, he sent us an email on the feelings he got in the Valle Lunga racing track while developing this so once again, there's a uh, much better from the payload. In terms of wheelie, well, this also has been improved because plenty of results we have with Desmo 16. This is something we have thanks to the, uh, you know, engine, but also to the aerodynamics. I mean, we can really, you know, speed up or uh, take advantage of, you know, acceleration. There's another sort of indirect, uh, you know, uh, benefit. I mean, as I said before, less from tire blocking and braking. I mean, we need slow down, you use your brakes, uh, and again, when there's no so-called, you know, load transfer, in some cases, you may block, you know, the front tire. Now, thanks to this new technology, uh, this is avoided. Once again, as for the winglets, uh, once again, in 2010, we have already started, I mean, using all of the winglets, uh, so plenty of research and development, and then we sort of, you know, froze it, and then Gigi the Linea decided to, um, you know, keep working on the winglets, and I think that we managed to get top performances in 2016. Winglets, they are different because, as you know, there have been changes and amendments to the MotoGP regulations. So, so these winglets can no longer be used. But uh, you can see here that this is very, very similar to what Andrea Dovizioso used in 2016. Now, this is the most efficient, you know, uh, variant. This is much more efficient than what we use in the MotoGP. So you have to consider the vertical uh, load of the winglet, you know, without slowing the bike down, because, of course, the price to pay, so to say, with winglets is that, you know, the bike is slower because, of course, you have vertical load and this slows the bike down. In this case, the fairing has been changed, so once again, there's an improvement here, plus the new winglets. Basically, on a V4R, you have an incredible increase in terms of speed. Look at what we did in terms of re-engineering the engine. So, this is the basic version that uh, Ducati Corse will use in order to create the new superbike that Chad and Alvaro Bautista will be using in the racing track in 2019. We have titanium conrads, we have forged pistons, we have titanium and uh, inlet valves, uh, we have a new lighter crankshaft, a bigger inlet ducts, we also have a new camshaft and the bigger throttle bodies. Now, the entire package like this is an incredible one. This means that this is the Ducati's most powerful bike ever. A big round of applause to our technicians and engineers. Thank you so much for creating this masterpiece. Well, I have the honor of you know, being here today on stage talking about this, but you know, at home, as we like to say, in Bologna, we have hundreds of engineers working on a daily basis to make sure your dreams come true. So what we need is their, you know, uh, resolute attitude and their strength. 221 HP in Euro 4 countries now. On some markets, some other power will be a little different because of, you know, the uh, tech specs. And once again, in terms of rev limiter, we have 16,500 revs. I'm talking about a special product, plenty of sophisticated components in terms of the chassis. For example, first and foremost, I mean, there's an adjustable swing arm pivot. We have uh, three positions. We also have uh, the typical, you know, mechanical suspensions. And once again, this is some of the uh, 
novelties of the new developments we have on the V4 are after Desmo 16. We had, you know, a, a new pressurized front fork, uh, you know, some some years ago on that very exotic product. Um, you had some minor changes in terms of electronics suite in the uh, chassis, but also the engine. Now, in terms of electronics, uh, well, we do have something there. For example, the pit limiter that you can set and adjust with a specific device. And we also have a new lap timer. So this is an automatic GPS timer built into the dashboard. And once again, you can really uh, take care of laps and lap times. Now, all of this, uh, well, is a list of incredible ingredients is so to have, as to have a perfect recipe, you know, and uh, this means that, well, you can take advantage of this in uh, so-called closed uh, racing tracks. So once again, the racing track is the natural environment for the V4R. You may also want to replace, I mean, the exhaust system. You can remove the mirrors and even the plate holder. Now, just imagine for one second what can happen. Well, this is what we get. Quindi So again, this is what we managed to get. Uh, this is possible for all of our Ducatistas or even our fans or supporters. So, um, well, many people will be one day the owners of one of these fantastic bikes. They just have to replace the Euro 4 uh, exhaust system with this kind of exhaust. As you can see here, this is a full racing exhaust, 234 HP and 1.42 HP per kilo. This is absolutely excellent. Extraordinary. Just, just let me so when we won the first uh, uh, title, Desmo 16 in Barcelona in 2003, with Loris Capirossi, and that bike, believe me, was very powerful. We had less than 230 uh, horsepower. When we managed to win the World Championship in 2007 with Casey Stoner, we had again less than 230 HP. So we've been able to do something magic. So the engine, as you can see here, has uh, not track configuration so basically you know we have an ordinary maintenance interval it's an extreme engine if you will but at the same time it can be used on a daily basis so with plenty of electronics and electronic controls again this is a dream come true um, we offer the same power levels that moto gp bikes had just a few years ago and now this is for all of our customers that this is panigale v4r it is unique there's only one place where we can truly be ourselves. is who we are. Claudio. Okay, and uh, these are you. This is Ducati. Okay, I think this is the end of our presentation. Okay, let me tell you just one more thing, please. And uh, I was really, really impressed. I mean, the emotion that you can feel in Claudio, in his face, you know, commenting, you know, videos, talking about the bikes. I mean, he's the big boss in this company. And uh, there was also a, a deep emotion from me, from my side. I mean, I've been part of this family for one day only, and this is really, really incredible. Now, this family lives, writes, you know, and tells a beautiful story every single day. 
Oh, good day. Isn't it, Claudio? Yes, you're right. Thank you so much for these beautiful uh, words. But, um, you know, I need to uh, thank all of the people who make all of this possible. So it's a pleasure and an honor for me to be here. So I'm here to tell you about what we do in Bologna. But behind me, there's a huge, beautiful team. I would like to thank all of you here in the room, all of the Ducati dealers. A big, big round of applause for you. Thank you so much for joining us here in Milan today. Thank you for spending the entire day with us. Also, would like to thank reporters and the press in general. And, uh, well, thank you so much because, I mean, thanks to your, you know, articles and reports, you will transfer, uh, you know, all of this information to uh, the general public. I also would like to thank our, let's say, uh, I mean, the people, you know, watching us from the, uh, you know, Sky uh, channel or, um, you know, the uh, social networks and, and Facebook. Uh, I also would like to thank all of the Ducati people. Thank you so much for making all of this possible. Men and women in the Borgo Panigale plant close to Bologna. Grazie. Thank you so much on behalf of every single Ducatista around the world. Claudio, thank you. Thank you. And uh, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for, you know, spending more than one hour with us tonight uh, from all over the world. I hope I will see you at the exhibition here in EICMA, Milan. Or don't hesitate, you know, to browse our Ducati.com website. You will know more about the, all the models presented tonight. Thank you so much. Arrivederci. Bye-bye. Thank you.